Here we have a AeroSharp solar inverter and you can see on the screen here it's totally blank. Now if we have a look in here at these power run and fault indicator lamps, if, the, if uh, the system was actually operational, the power light would be on and the run light would be on. They're both green lights, they need to both be on for the system to be working. In this case, we've got nothing on at all. So if your AeroSharp inverter uh, is doing this type of thing, the first thing to do is actually check that everything is on. So here on the right hand side, we've got our inverter AC isolator. So we just check that's definitely on. And uh, if your inverter is beside your switchboard, you may not have an inverter AC isolator. You might have just have a solar supply main switch in the switchboard. So you just need to check that's turned on. And if that's all on, uh, then we need to check the PV Ray DC isolator. So you can see that over here in this case. And we can see up, up is usually on with a switch like this. So we can see that's actually on. Um, so look, by all means this should be working this system here but what we what is a good thing to do if you do have an inverter issue is try rebooting the system sometimes like a computer if a, a, after a reboot it might sort out any glitches and get your system operational so it's important when we do that to make sure you follow a shutdown procedure right there so with a shutdown procedure, it's always important you follow this correctly. Now it says here, the first thing, A, turn off the solar supply main switch or inverter AC isolator. So like I said, in the switchboard will be the solar supply main switch. In this case, we've got an inverter AC isolator as well. So we can just isolate it here. So we'll turn off this one. Let's flick that down. And then turn off the PV ray DC isolator located at the inverter. So that's on the other side of the inverter there. So we see it over here, PV Ray DC isolator. So we just flick that one off. Now, a good thing to do is usually leave it for 30 seconds or so just to uh, make sure the inverter totally shuts down and then we can try restarting it again. Now, there is a bit of a problem with Aero, the uh, AeroSharp brand of inverter because the manufacturer, AeroSharp, uh, Shanghai AeroSharp Electric, are not around anymore. So if you do have an AeroSharp inverter which is having issues, it's it, it could be possibly fixed by a third party, but it won't be covered under warranty because the manufacturer has disappeared. So uh, I'm, uh, that's unfortunate. And uh, if you do actually have a problem with the inverter and it looks like it needs to be fixed or repaired, usually it's not worth actually paying someone to come and repair it or come and fix it because you look, you're, you're probably looking at about $500 to get that happening. You're going to have, a, have an electrician come, uh, diagnose the whole system, check it out. You're going to have to send it away to a inverter repair person and uh, which is going to cost you a few hundred dollars to get it repaired by them. Then you're going to have an electrician to come back to site and reinstall the repaired inverter. It's not going to leave you any change from $500. So in my opinion, if you do have an AeroSharp inverter which is faulty and uh, you're, you're, you're probably best to bite the bullet, spend a bit more and get it replaced with a good quality unit. And that's going to give you a full warranty. So on this case here, we'll now see if this thing reboots again. So with a shut, um, shutdown procedure, it's important. But with a startup procedure, it doesn't matter. It can be in either order, either the AC first or the DC. Here we'll just turn on the AC. Click that up and we'll turn back on the DC. Yep, open up. And we'll see if we get anything on the screen at all. Sometimes these hot lights are hard to see. But in this case, the screen is totally blank. There's none of the uh, lights are on either. And so if your inverter, if you've tried this on your AeroSharp inverter and it's doing the same thing, Unfortunately, you are going to need to get a solar accredited electrician to come and have a look at your system and work out what's going on. Now, in this case here, I've actually checked all this system already and it is an internal fault with the, with the solar inverter. It does have DC power getting to it and it does have AC power getting to it as well. I've actually checked inside and this does have a 12 amp fuse inside which was blown. Um, 
but that fuse has blown because of another internal fault, a major internal fault. So in this case here, it is best for the customer to replace the inverter with a good quality unit, which is what we're here to do today. Now, it's always best to know what size your solar inverter is. And you can find out here that by the data sheet on the side of the inverter, on the side here. We see here, this is a Shanghai Aerosharp Electric. Uh, we see the model number, HRINV X01. 010 and it tells us here normal nominal DC power 1200 watts normal nominal AC power 1000 VA so this is a one kilowatt inverter in this case uh, Aerosharp inverters come in one one kilowatt 1.5 kilowatt 2 kilowatt 3 kilowatt they're the main ones so uh, you can find the information on the side there and that will help a uh, it's getting the correct size replacement inverter for your solar power system so look, if you've got an Aerosharp inverter which is having this type of issue, I'm sorry to hear that, but look, if you need any help, uh, you can contact Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions. We're here to help you get your system operational again as soon as possible. Thanks very much for watching this video.